So in this video, we are going to continue our lesson on percentages. We are going to focus on solving questions regarding fraction spent, fraction left and all of that. Now under this section, we are interested in finding how much we spend on the original cost of money, how much is left and then what we can do with the fraction left. Now the original amount or the total amount is equivalent to the total fraction which is 1. So that if you want to find the fraction left, then we are going to subtract the fraction spent from the total fraction, which is 1. So we have two questions in all. Let's solve our first question. Question 1. Mr. Frank reduced some money from the bank. He gave 1 eighth to his son, 3 eighth to his wife, and then 1 quarter to his daughter. If he had 500 Ghana CDs left, how much did he take from the bank? Now before we solve this question, let's put down the information that we derive from the question. So we are told that Mr. Frank reduced some money from the bank and then he gave one eighth to his son. So fraction to his son is one eighth. And then fraction to his wife is 3 8. So fraction to his wife, that is 3 8. And then fraction to his daughter, that is 1 fourth or 1 quarter. So this is the fraction he gave to his son, 1 8, fraction to his wife, 3 8, and then fraction to his daughter, 1 fourth. Now we are going to find the amount of money that he took from the bank. But before we do that, we need to add up all these values to get the total fraction spent. And then we subtract that value from the total fraction, which is 1. Then using ratio and proportion, we can find the amount of money that he took from the bank. So the total fraction spent... is equal to 1 8 plus 3 8 plus 1 quarter. Now let's find the LCM. So the LCM between 8 and 4 is 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. So when we add them up, we have 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 2 is 6. So that is 6 over 8, and this is equal to 3 over 4. Therefore, the total fraction spent is 3 over 4. Now we know that the total fraction is equal to 1. Therefore, if we want to find the fraction left, then the fraction left will be equal to the total fraction minus the total fraction spent, which is 3 over 4. Now, because we have the denominator to be 4, 1 over 1 is also equal to 4 over 4, so that we subtract 3 over 4 from the total fraction, and then we have 1 over 4. Because the denominator is the same, we basically subtract the numerator. So 4 minus 3 is 1, and then we have divided by 4. So this is the fraction left. This is the fraction left. Now the fraction left represents the amount of money that was left after he shared parts of the money to his family. Now we need to find the amount of money he took from the bank. Therefore, if 1 quarter, which represents the fraction left, is equal to 500 Ghana CDs Then the total fraction is equal to X. Therefore we say that X is equal to 1 times 500 Divided by 1 over 4 if more less divide now 1 over 4 is the same as 0 0.25 Therefore 
1 times 500 divided by 0 0.25 is equal to 2000 Ghana cities. This means that the amount of money he took from the bank from the bank is 2000 Ghana cities. This is the amount of money he took from the bank. Now let's solve our second question. Kwame spent one third of his salary on food, half of the remaining on rent, and then one quarter of what still remained on sweets. If he still had 90 Ghana cities left, A. Find his salary per month, B. How much did he spend on food, and then C. How much did he spend on rent? So we have this question, let's try to solve this question. Now this question is slightly different from what we had for question 1. Here we have the statement, a fraction of the remaining, and then we also have of what still remained. So we can't use the approach that we used in question 1. Now let's look at how to solve this question. From the question we are told that Kwame spent one third of his salary on food. Now before we write down what we gather from the question, we are going to create a table. A table of fraction spent and then fraction left. So we have a table of fraction spent and fraction left. So if you have a question of this nature, you can use this approach to solve such a question. Now, Kwame spent one third of his salary on food. So, under the fraction spent, that's going to be the total fraction minus the fraction spent on food. So, that is 1 over 3. And then the difference will be the fraction left. So, 1 minus 1 over 3 is 2 over 3. That is the fraction left. To the second part, we have half of the remaining on rent. So half of the remaining on rent, here we have 1 minus 1 over 2. And then we have the difference to be the fraction left, that is 1 over 2. For the third one, we have 1 fourth of what still remained on sweets. So that becomes 1 minus 1 over 4. And the difference is 3 over 4. Now what we need to do at this point is to calculate the total fraction left. Then using simple ratio and proportion, we can find A, his salary per month, and then B and C. So to find the total fraction left, the total fraction left is equal to the product of these three values. So that's going to be 2 over 3 times 1 over 2 times 3 over 4. Now 3 goes here once, 3 goes here once, 2 goes here once, 2 goes here once. We have 1 times 1 times 1, which is 1, divided by 1 times 1 times 4. So that is 4. Therefore, the total fraction left is 1 over 4. Now if the total fraction left is 1 over 4, then that represents the amount 90 Ghana cities. So if you want to find E, his salary per month, then we say that if 1 over 4 is equal to 90 cities, then the total fraction, which is 1, is equal to x. Therefore, if more, less divide. So we have x equals 1 times 90 divided by 1 over 4, which is the same as 0 0.25. Now, this is equal to 360 cities. So we have his salary per month to be 360 Ghana cities. Now let's solve for B. How much did he spend on food? 
Now, from the question, we were told that Kwame spent one third of his salary on food. So, money spent on food. Money spent on food is equal to one third times the total amount of money. That is 360 Ghana cities. So, that is equal to 3 goes here once, 3 goes into 36, 12 times. So, that is 120 Ghana cities. So, the amount he spent on food is 120 Ghana cities. Now, to see, we are going to find how much he spent on rent. We are going to find the amount of money he spent on rent. Now, from the question, we were told that after spending one third of his salary on food, he also spent half of the remaining on rent. So, to find the amount of money he spent on rent, then it's going to be half times the remaining amount. Now, the remaining amount is the total amount, which is 360 minus the amount that he spent on food. So, minus 120. So, that's going to be half times 6 minus 2 is 4. 3 minus 1 is 2. So, times 240. 2 goes here once. 2 goes here 12 times. So, it basically means that the amount he spent on rent is 120 Ghana cities.